I'm trying to think of a coherent backstory that kind of explains what this video is about, but there's no single explanation that really gets at it. I'm not really one of these mechanical keyboard people, at least I didn't used to be, but I do have an appreciation for retro computing and retro futuristic aesthetic. I write a lot of code for my job, and every programmer knows that keyboards aren't really very ergonomic for writing code. While learning about some computer history, I discovered this really fascinating keyboard that lies at the intersection a lot of my interests. It's from 1992. At least I think it is. I think that's when it was decommissioned. It's an operator control keyboard from a utility power plant. They built these keyboards and installed them and maintained them for the National Grid Utility Company. It turns out I can actually buy one on the internet. It's not that expensive. In fact, it's less expensive than the keyboard I use on a daily basis. This thing is definitely metal right here. Oh look, a little speaker there. And uh, naturally we have the flippers. How can you not love the flippers? It even has this nice dirty patina. Oh, so lovely. I might maybe sterilize it first. Look at all these buttons. Exec control, retro time select, cancel control, retro time forward, enter, retro time backwards, enter, retro, enter, retro two, X two. Times two? Remove earth hand dress. Apply earth. Inhibit smurred. Remove inhibit. Remove safety dog. Comment English comment. Show earth position. Volt accept. No thank you. Leo accept. Exact enable. CRT one through four. Tech limit. Test one through four. Raise, lower, page backward, page forward, up arrow, down arrow, open in, close in. So those of you who are Doctor Who fans, if you have an eagle eye, you'll notice that on, on uh, one of the, the TARDIS consoles, there's a, an array of buttons that look very similar to this. In fact, it's the same exact buttons from the same model keyboard that they used. That's how I found out about this keyboard in the first place. A lot of these have their own LED indicators, so uh, I, I can uh, use maybe those use those for, for layering or some kind of uh, toggle.